Hallo ihr Lieben, willkommen zu Musik machen. Ich bin Franzi und ich sitze hier mit den Exes of Awesome. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. For those out there who don't know who you are, I mean the five people on the planet, um, could you tell them what it is exactly that you do? Uh, we are three human beings, men, uh, and we sing humorous songs and we put them on the internet and then we go out to places and we sing them at people. Cool. And um, how did you guys meet and when? So it's a funny story. We uh, we originally auditioned for the uh, the TV show The X Factor. Mm, uh, over in the UK. Yeah, actually, each, yeah. each separately. And um, then Simon Cowell, one of the hosts, he actually put us together as yeah. a band. Yeah. Mm. So you're not really professionals at what you do. You just go along. I like to think we've become professionals after, you know, we were scouted and, you know, formulated by Simon Cowell. Well, we, like, uh, in Australia, you'd say we're manufactured. A manufactured act, so they yeah. like push together like a you know, like transformer, the sp like the the Spice Girls almost. The Spice Girls, you just look better than them. That's that's a definite. Um, <laughs> would you call yourself comedical musicians or musical comedians? Th those are two different things. Yes, <laughs> 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 I, I think we would say that we're more comedians uh, who play music. We're some, so more musical comedians because yeah. the focus is comedy. I think generally, yeah, the, the live shows that we play will, will be at comedy festivals or in comedy venues and uh, occasionally we'll do them at music venues or, or, or but that feels a bit weird. Mm. Music festivals and stuff feels a bit weird. We usually yeah. on the comedy stage. When, when people go to a music show, they don't necessarily want to listen to the words. They just want to dance and they want to rock out and have a good time and feel good. But, But when, you, when you see us, you have to listen to the words. The words are most mm. important. That's where all the jokes are withheld, mm. inside the words. And the, and the thing is, with an artist like uh, Razel, it's all words. The Four Chord Song was originally put online by someone completely different, someone who had nothing to do with you, <laughs> and it basically got over, what, 35 million clicks by now? Yeah, it's getting towards that. We made our own official clip, which is getting close. I think it's 20 million now. So Okay, yeah, that... that yeah. yeah. That. To, to, clar to clarify, it was still us performing it. Yeah, we played it yeah. at, at the Melbourne Comedy <laughs> we didn't Festival. Do, we didn't copy someone else's video. It was someone who took the video off the TV yeah. and a, put it on a their lovely, A lovely young 17-year-old gentleman from... Probably, probably older now. Probably, probably about yes. 24. Probably about 24 now, but still, he'll always be 17 in my mind. So you actually met this person. Did you give him a bis gift basket or something? Yeah, we sent him a glazed ham and he just sent us back a, a ham bone. <laughs> um, so message I, I actually messaged him um, to say thank you for putting the video up and he didn't believe it was actually me and he asked me to send him a photo of myself with uh, that day's newspaper to so prove... We sent, we sent him a ham yeah. instead, a glazed ham. Yes. With that day's newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> um... So was the X of, of Awesome, the way that it is today, a vision? Or was it more an experiment that accidentally went extremely well? Uh, the latter. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, I wonder how many acts get together and know exactly who they're going to be and how successful they, they think they'll be from the get-go. I think people just... Perform. People well, the, do shows. There are some like Iggy Azalea who just thought that they'd be huge from the beginning because they were completely deluded, yeah. and then uh, but then it came it's true. It's self fulfilling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As long as you believe your own hype, I think you can go pretty far. And but don't stop believing. Yeah. Good job. No, we we uh, we did. You know, it was a bit of a side project initially for us. The band. We we're all doing different things. Benny music, Jordan comedy. Uh, and so we, yeah, just put it together to see where it will go. And this is where it went. Yeah. It went right it's here. Kind of, it's, been, it's been, what, nearly eight years and um, still going. Eight fucking years. <laughs> eight fucking great years. <laughs> so did you have a plan B, though? Uh, uh, well, I mean, I was already already had a career in comedy. You had a career in recruitment. Yeah, I was a recruitment consultant. Uh, and and I'm a professional smurf. Yeah. So. And independently wealthy. Yeah. Hold on an answer to that question. Yes, it was called the Baxis of Forsum. <laughs> um, and what does a typical day in the studio for you look like, like production, songwriting-wise? In, in the studio? 
You mean like a recording studio? Or? Yes. Oh, well, I'd say we do about three of them a year. Yeah, yeah. a lot of our recording, um, Benny will produce the music track before we get into the studio, so we yeah. just use a proper studio for vocals. So yeah, yeah I guess the, a typical Dean studio is me by myself at home in <laughs> our second bedroom yeah. at my computer with my keyboards. Either yeah. making songs or crying, alternating yeah. between the two. Um, yeah. But we get because we don't. We, we kind of write to perform live first. So we we, we have an office in, in Sydney where we'll meet and we'll write the songs. And uh, we only ever record when we're going to make an album because most of our most of our stuff is for live or for the internet. Or, or when we're writing a new song, Benny will record a demo and do all the parts and send it yeah. and go. And, and he'll pitch his voice down for me and that kind of <laughs> stuff. But, yeah, um, I think I think what's more interesting is um, the the writing sessions that we do when we get together and try and uh, write songs we usually have a good list of ideas that we've been coming up with while we're on the road we'll just throw jokes around collect what we think is funny and then sit down to write some songs mm. so that looks like three guys around a desk with their computers out yeah and i think it's i mean it's 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 we've got to find a balance between you know the work that we do is you know we, we do a lot of touring and we don't do a lot of writing or recording or making videos for youtube they're all kind of very important parts and they're not very easy to do at the same time mm. but if, you, if we're on the road it's very hard to uh, write new songs or you know make videos for YouTube and stuff like that mm. so we've got to uh, spend our time according to our needs so when is the new album coming out don't know good question <laughs> it's good. I mean we haven't recorded a new album uh, since when we did our Christmas album we did our Christmas album yeah. last year we've we At the moment, we've been focusing more on the on the online, on the YouTube channel. So we've just finished a uh, web series called mm. Access All Areas, which is a 30-part 30, 30 web series. Uh, and that's been that's been kind of the, the bulk of the work for the last year has been focusing on that. So, mm. But also for the new shows we've been doing this year, we've done, written a handful of new songs, which we might record. But we really enjoyed the experience of writing a concept album for Christmas because it was just a bunch of songs about Christmas. So we like think all different takes on Christmas, religious Christmas or family Christmas, being drunk at Christmas, and not just mm. yeah. yeah. So all different angles to attack. So it. yeah, we've been talking about maybe doing a video game album, like yeah. an album about video games or an album about just games in general, yeah. board games even. Yeah. Mm. So I think that might be next on the cards, but definitely looking forward to that one. So to answer your question, uh, August first, two thousand fifteen. That's the new album. Fantastic. Okay. We're the Very first one to know that. Yeah. yeah. But I was wondering. I mean, that is a lot of work. Are you guys just bored? Do you have too much free time on your hands or do you just like having a camera in your face all the time? Uh, no, look, it's, it's a, it's comes from a general need to earn money. Um, I think if we just had money, we probably wouldn't necessarily do it. Yeah, a big part of it is that, you know, we need that money to exchange for goods and services like food, shelter, um, and without actually doing the work, then the money stops coming to us. And then we can't buy the food. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the, the thing with um, Access All Areas is that one thing we notice between our, our YouTube uh, work and our stage work is that in the stage show we play characters and we have a lot of character interactions and kind of sketch elements that we never really got across on, on the YouTube channel where we just put up music videos. So we kind of came up with the idea where we could combine music videos with sketch comedy and uh, so that you know, the YouTube audience can also enjoy the character part of the show. Uh, so that's that's kind of the reason why we did it, uh, why we spent so much time and effort on it. No, it Wanted it to be really good, like good. So will you be wearing a Sailor Moon outfit on stage? Uh, no, not tonight. No, it's Sailor Jupiter. Sailor Jupiter. Oh. Lee, if I'm informed correctly, you will start your solo project in Australia oh, yeah. after the tour. Mm -hmm. Correct. Would you tell us something about that? Yeah, sure. It's a it's an hour show of just me uh, for an hour on stage. There's no one else on stage. Just me on the stage by myself for an hour in a show. He has and been busy. <laughs> <laughs> He's been busy with the access and the touring. Yeah. So what do you got? Yeah. We got three weeks till the show opens. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. Hopping, I, hopping from city to city across Germany, riding a minute at a time in every <laughs> hotel room. So uh, I get back on the Thursday, and the show opens the next day on the Friday. So. Uh, Oh boy! What's the show called? What's a the study show? in jet lag. The show is called Lee Namo in Finding Lee. Uh, Jordan came up with the title. Yeah. Uh, Benny hasn't helped yet, but he's going to help with some music later on. So uh, you know, it's I say it's me. It's me and my friends who will. So it's really just an, another accent. An accent, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you like the accent, awesome. If you like the four chord song, come along with the show. It'll be totally an hour of that. And Benny, you have been touring. 
with your own solo show, the, what is it, Human Jukebox? Human Jukebox. Uh, yeah, last year we took a break from uh, the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, which we'd been to every year in a row for five years. Uh, when the guy said that they were taking a break, I thought I'd try something new. I did. It was good. Now I'm not doing it because I'm really busy with the band. But I will hopefully keep making some videos when I get home. I actually have an idea for a little web series where I um, deconstruct pop songs and make them less fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I couldn't find anything about you, Jordan. Oh, okay. Nothing. Uh, so you just know how to handle money better than them. No, no. I w I've been busy uh, raising a human infant. Uh, I've been doing that, and I'm also working on a new show uh, called Sad, Sad, Super Sad, Oh My God, When Will It End? Uh, kind of, uh, you know, taking the, the Greek uh, theory of catharsis and kind of combining comedy and tragedy. So it's going to be a comedy show that's really, really depressing. Looking forward to that. <laughs> and um, what is one question you always wanted to be asked? That one. Yeah, that's a much better question. Jordan recently wrote a, uh, an article about... Um, the kind of questions we always get in interviews that we get bored of. And what was your favourite from that list of questions? I, 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 I think, what, what is your favourite movie about apes? Oh, yeah. Mm, that was, that a, good was one. a good question. Yeah. And I am... I, what is the best movie about apes? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Oh, good uh, question. Uh, yeah, good uh, question. Mine is probably Mighty Joe Young, uh, the remake, not the original. Mm. Mm. Uh, for me, it's a tough one between uh, Dunst and Chexian and Gorillas in the Mist. They both, they're so similar. Mm. Mine is actually Hail to the Chimp, which is actually a fictional movie within the world of The Simpsons. I'm going to regret this last one. I know it. <laughs> what is one sentence or word in German that you want me to teach you? I bet you didn't guess that one. Oh, yeah. oh this is tough. I, yeah. Well, it's harder for me because there's already a few things I know how to say. Mm. Ich mag Spaziergänge am Strand. That's your beach ah, thing. <laughs> am Strand, ja, das wusste ich schon. Ich mag Spazier. Can you, can you teach me how to say Hauptbahnhof? You just said it. Train station, Hauptbahnhof. Oh, train station, that's the yeah. one in German for Hauptbahnhof. Great. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Uh, can I tell you my favorite German phrase anyway? It's, uh, oh, my ice cream's on the floor. Ach, mein Eis ist auf dem Boden. How often he says that. <laughs> um, well, guys, thank you so much. Best of luck with the tour, with your solo projects, with Exes All Areas. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you. Thanks Thanks so much. Much. Thanks. Teach me, oh, my pizza is on the roof. Oh, my pizza is on the roof.